A good marketing campaign can't help a bad business. Having too much confidence in one tactic, they're not that important. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like That's probably you know, true, yeah. Tough questions first. What are currently some underappreciated tactics that a lot of small business owners tend to, to overlook? Good question. So I would say from a business perspective, uh, some of the tactics that are typically overlooked are the fundamentals. So I think when we start a business, we get excited about the big dream and the big vision. Right. And yeah. although those things are very important, I think it's also important to get the fundamentals right. So when we meet potential clients or if I meet business owners in the community who are asking me about you know, some of the things that they should be focusing on, I would say make sure you have a rock solid product or service, right? Product have a good service, sales yeah. process. Have mm -hmm. a great sales process. Um, have expertise and experience in your industry. There are so many people who uh, have a genuine, authentic approach to what they're doing, but they're not looking the, themselves in the mirror and being honest about how qualified they are to be mm. able to uh, provide a product or service uh, to a specific person or, or business, right? Yeah. And so many times I meet entrepreneurs who lack in these areas. Um, a good marketing campaign can't help a bad business. Say that again. A good marketing, a good marketing campaign. campaign can't help a bad business. And the analogy I like to use often is uh, think about like a fire, right? Or a flame, mm -hmm. right? As a, as a demand generation performance marketing company, our goal when our clients bring us in is to pour fuel on the fire, right? Mm. If you don't have a spark, you're just going to be pouring gas on the ground, right? So we can't, we can advise and we can share best practices or things that we've seen. Um, and it's always our goal to try not to take on clients who we don't think we can be successful for. Right. right. Uh, so I think getting the fundamentals right uh, is great. Uh, in terms of like tactics that business owners overlook uh, from like a revenue generation, uh, sales and marketing perspective, I would say, you know, brand continuity is, is an important one. Okay. Uh, getting your name out there, like going out and shaking hands at events, you know, like you and I both run remote distributed companies, but we yeah. also go and get out to events and we shake hands and we meet yeah. people. And I think that it's important to sell to consumers or decision makers in the way that they want to buy. Right. Right. And that's not always uh, the way that you buy. Right. Mm -hmm. So having a, a respect for how people engage and consume is going to help uh, open up new new pathways and opportunities for uh, for you as a business owner. Yeah. And I guess like just shaking hands and going to events, it's hard to quantify, I guess, that impact, but it's still something that's that's important. And and I guess what you're saying, too, of just having fundamentals that are that are good, like a good product or service. I guess that's a big step because I mean, for you, it makes your life way harder if someone's trying to sell something that's just like a stupid product or just something that doesn't make any sense or that's yeah. not really good. It makes your life way harder when you're trying to market something that's like nonsense, right? Totally. And I find that the the clients that we're most successful with are the ones where I or the person working on their account would actually pay money for and, and buy themselves. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Um, because you can kind of really get passionate and behind it. Right. So mm -hmm. I think that's also important. Right. Because you never want to you never want to promote something that you wouldn't buy yourself. Right. Um, that doesn't mean that we're the target demographic for every single client uh, that we yeah. have. Right. But I think it's important to understand the reason why someone would purchase their product or service. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And to get behind it and really be passionate about it. So so what would you say is the biggest mistakes that these small business owners are doing when they're trying to do some form of marketing or advertising for their business? So I would say a couple things. One would be not taking action at all. Okay. Right. So a lot of people have good ideas um, and potential of things that they think might work, but that's really meaningless if it's sitting inside your head and you're not testing mm -hmm. it. Right. right. So, uh, and I, and in that same vein, I wouldn't go grandiose either. I would sm try small things uh, and see what works and what doesn't work and scale up the things that work, right? So there are so many tactics out there these days on what you can do and what you can't do. And for different businesses, different things are gonna work and not work, right? Mm -hmm. But I think having too much confidence in one tactic is, a, is another big mistake that I see business right. owners make, right? 
putting this all is, your eggs in, in one strategy or tactic and then yeah, hoping and it works. Yeah, exactly. And I think with our clients, we try and, we try and go broad with a variety of different audiences, uh, with a variety of different tactics, platforms, and then we narrow in over time as we test things, right? So yeah. that might take a little bit longer to figure out what works, but mm. we're playing the long game. We don't want uh, to try and, you know, uh, hit a uh, hit a single, <laughs> right? And try and get on base once, uh, and uh, and that's like a short term short term strategy, right? So yeah. um, I think anyone can do that. I think it's a, like sustained long term growth uh, is is a bit tougher. And uh, and I think the final thing I'll say is kind of putting all your eggs in one basket, yes, but also staying in that basket for too long, right? So okay. things change, mm-hmm. right? Times change, marketing uh, channels change. Platforms get saturated. Um, everyone figures out kind of what works and then they all go there and then it's not uh, a blue ocean anymore. It's not like green right. pastures anymore, right? So staying in one thing for too long and not not really uh, evolving uh, is a big mistake I also see uh, as well. So it's better to learn early, fail mm. fast, as they say. Mm. Um, and I think the final thing I'll say is that I think everyone's a bit too shy about putting themselves out there, right? Uh, I'm an average guy with an, you know, average business, average family, like, you know, uh, I I like to think the people around me think I'm special. Right. But it's like, (laughs) (laughs) right. But you know, I'm just a normal guy and yeah, I put up videos on LinkedIn. I'm sure you see social posts and stuff like that uh, out there. And, um, I think people often will kind of question whether they should do it and just, instead of just hitting submit and seeing what happens. Right. Right. The world's not going to fall apart. Worst (laughs) case, someone's just going to scroll past it and forget it ever happened. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. I think people get the fear that, you know, the internet is forever and, you know, whatever they do is going to be held against them forever, you know, and so that's too much of a fear. Yeah, that's fair. And on the flip side, they need to realize maybe they're not that important. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like that's probably all, true. Yeah, we all think that we're like the most important person in the world, right? Yeah, um, yeah. And then you realize, okay, wait, if someone's just going to scroll past this in two seconds and never remember this, you know, yeah. then...